Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Full Stack Developer at London. In our last video, we implemented the side navigation bar and header and footer and we removed existing borders for all the side navs and uh, all the existing borders. So, and we implemented this uh, segregating border here and now we are going to commit uh, this existing code. This is a new project actually. So here we are going to integrate git in our project it is not integrated with git so now we are going to integrate and we are going to comment so that you will get my uh, updated code over there so if you are working on something that is relevant to my code then you can take it and you can use it in your project and uh, yeah i i mean this is helpful to you please like this video if you are new to my channel uh, please subscribe my channel and share uh, who are working in this area so that uh, this is helpful to them so let's get into our video. So first of all, you should have at least one uh, Git account. So for that, I'm going to open my Git, Git repository here. So you have to log in with your account credentials. So yeah, uh, this is my uh, Git account here. I'm going to uh, create a new Git repository. So here, our project name, what we given, FDL services, right? So I'm giving same name there. So FDL underscore services. Yeah, it is there and this is a public uh, repository. Uh, but I'm, I don't want to make it pub public so uh, I'm making now this is a private so add a readme no need so create a repository so yeah this is a repository so now we have to integrate with our local code now so for that we have to follow these commands initially we have to uh, run this command git init so just take a command prompt here and yes it is you just paste it git init Yes, it is initialize uh, reinitialize the existing git repository. Okay, so then you have to add a remote. Okay, then you have to add everything git. So you can check like this first initially what is the status. So these are the files, uh, new files. So here I'm going to commit all. So git add dot means it will add all the files to stage. So you can see here, this all staged. Earlier it is shown in the changes. So for your understanding, just I'm removing from the changes. So like staging, so unstage. So it came under the changes, right? So if I enter again new same, uh, if I rerun this command, then it will change it to stage. You can see stage to changes in changes. Nothing is there. It is in staged. So now here from here you can commit. So for the commit git commit iphone yum means comment you have to mention. So initial commit first commit. I'm going to use same. So commit. Okay. And then git push. So it is asking you to set upstream. So you have to copy this one. You have to set first upstream. Then only you can able to commit. So yep. So sorry, you can able to push. So it is pushed all my changes. You can see. So if I now there is no content in this uh, branch actually FTL services repository. So and it is with the master branch. So the branch name you can see here. So if I refresh, it will come with my existing application folder structure. Yeah, you can see. This is how we have to integrate uh, Git in it in the initial project and we can commit. We have to set upstream initially. If you are doing freshly, then you have to uh, set the upstream. Then only you can push your code or pull your code from the origin repository. Yeah, this is about the git integration friends. So in the next video, we are going to implement routing and lazy loading. So keep watching my videos. Please like the video. So my target is at least a thousand likes for this video. So please encourage my channel.